Hey, uh, today we'll see that one more interesting topic. Okay, so earlier we have uh, shown that uh, how to set up Helium in local without Docker. So now uh, in this session we are going to see two things. One is uh, Helium with Docker, and the second point is how to run the Selenium test cases in the Docker. Okay, so both both we'll see that here. Okay, so now. Uh, okay, so I'm searching that nothing uh, related to Helium, no container is running. So uh, I have uh, cloned the repository over here. Helium repository I have cloned. Uh, you, either you can clone it or download it. Okay, so I have done that. So uh, if you go the uh, readme file, then I can see here that you have to uh, uh, Docker compose script. That is the YAML file which you need to run. Okay. If you want to see that, you can go here, readme.md file. Okay, so if you go here, you can see that based on your setup, see, run Helium for web. Let us look Okay, for web, we need to do uh, this one only, uh, Docker Compose Web uh, things. And if you are using APM, then you can go for APM. So, okay, now I'm going to use Docker Compose Web YAML file, which will create content. So, before going to that, let us see here what is there on the Docker uh, uh, Compose web file. So, what it will do is you can see here uh, three things. One is uh, one is uh, okay. You can see here that uh, Postgre uh, DB. So other thing is Helium, and the third thing is Select Imitator. The three things are there. So, uh, what these three things will do? Okay, the Helium Web is a um, Helium Web is a uh, client port, and the Imitator and Postgre is a backend. That if you have looked to my previous video, you have easily uh, uh, understand that. Okay, so related to backend port, Postgre is uh, Postgre DB. So what we will be doing is we will store all the locators, reports, everything will be there. So here you can see that Helenium uh, is a DB name and Helenium user is a use, username and this is a password. The entry point is you need a dot SQL, okay? So overall this is there and the three containers you can, uh, it will spin off. One is PostgreDB and the other one is Helenium and the last one is a selector imitator, yes, okay? Fine. So now let us run that command. Now to run this command, we are going to use a Docker Compose and the uh, hyphen f is file name. And uh, this is the file name and uh, detached mode, I'm going to run it, okay? okay. So it will create a network and then uh, post the DB is created. And started and select imitator and get the Helenium. So you can see here the Docker. Okay, you can see three containers which are running. Okay, let us go here at the bottom. Okay, Helenium. You can see here Helenium build. Uh, that means a backend is there and the selector is there. And uh, Postgre is that three things are there. Mm, you can see three containers which is we have seen here. One is a, a selector imitator. You can see here Postgre is the one container. The other one is a Helium container. The selector imitator three containers which are spin up under me. Okay, so this is fine. So now let us uh, uh, go into the other part. What is uh, next is now I'm going to pull the images called standalone. Uh, Chrome. Okay, so 
we have uh, I have entered this image okay so I have to point okay let me run this stand alone go okay let us run this you know if we go here we can see okay so this is the cleaning emulator and this is just now 12 seconds ago we have started that if you go here you can see open with the browser you can see here okay so this is the sessions okay now we are good to go that so now let us um what we are exactly going to do is i have created one sample test cases in eclipse let us see here okay this is the demo you are run you can see here okay so this is the demo you are run it has a login so it, it uses test uh is a username and test is a password so once you run that you will get to know you, you will go inside so it is login okay so you can see here you can go for car okay so you are in uh so once you logged out you will be coming out so this is the sample applications which sample uh, uh script which i have developed for or login only okay so now what we are going to do is as usual there is uh nothing um here on that so uh, the usual way that uh if you look to my previous video you know that how to create a Selenium test case. So here, what you are doing, it's almost uh, same. Only thing is Chrome options. You we will use the Chrome driver to the delegate instead of that. Now, delegate will be a remote uh, web driver. So remote web driver and local host. This is the this is a normal uh, Selenium grid. How we will give the same way we have to give. Earlier, what you will do is Chrome driver is a delegate, and the delegate will be passed to actual driver. Those how now again same case. The only thing is, instead of Chrome driver, uh, instead of web driver, we are creating a remote web driver, and uh, that delegate will be passed to actual driver, and then it is similar. And then now, uh, what I'm going to do is now, oh. Uh, it will follow the same case. Now I'm going to run that. Okay, let us see here. So if I go here, you can see that I'm going to sessions. Okay, so session, I'm going here. You can see secret. So it will go into that. So you can see here test test in the world and it is going inside. So you can see here it is getting logged in. So once logged in, it will automatically close it. Okay, so that's the time. So now what I'm going to do is okay, so this is the way we are going to run it in Docker. Now, as I said, we need to implement this Helenium uh, also, right? So now what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some locator. So I have given login to as a uh, things. Okay. So before that, let us go here. We will see that related to Helenium. We need no anything is there. Okay. Let us just TTP local host seven eight seven eight. So you can see here now, if you go reports, you can see there is a one uh, report which we ran it. So now I'm going to implement this with the Helenium with a slightly changing the locator. So I have put a debugger here. Let us debug. So now we'll go here. Okay, disconnected. 
So let us come to the debug. Let's, okay, now we debug what has come. I am changing here, inspect. So instead of see here, ID is logged into what I'm going to give, give is blah blah to or blah blah. Let us give here. Okay, now I have changed. Okay, now let us see here. See, you can see here blah blah is getting highlighted and we went inside. So login is done. Okay, so done. So now if you go here, you can see that selector or test is passed. And if you go with the report, let us see here 524 now, 525. We have ran it. See, you can see here, right? See blah blah. So we the failed look is logging to which we changed. It is blah blah. Okay. So this is Okay, so this is the highlighted locator which gets hit. Okay, now you will see that what happened inside. Okay, so that's done. So now let us go into the container where DB is there. Okay, so here I'm going to use this one. Uh, okay, PostgreSQL. Yes, you will inside PostgreSQL. You'll go inside that. You go open in terminal. <laughs> PSQL use sorry username is Helium Helium user Helium user database is Helium okay it went inside let us see the select store from um re look selector Select locator from Helium selector. Okay, so these are the things which we have used in the so you can, you can see here, right? Login to login username, login to by ID, login username, login password, login password, and button. Login button. So four rows are done. Okay. So you can see here. Okay, so this is the report. So you can see here, right? Um, what are the things actually you can see the value blah blah. This is one which is a screenshot for so everything is showing so that only we are seeing in the report. So actual values, I mean this is uh you can see here, right? Failed locator and the healed locator. So this is what you are seeing in the this is what you are seeing here. Okay. Okay, so that's the overall uh, session about it. So currently, uh, what exactly we have done is uh, um, we have created basically there are uh, four containers which are which we are running it uh, related to Helium. Um, three containers which uh, we are uh, related to Helium. Uh, we are running uh, three containers and uh, related to Selenium, I'm running on container. Okay, so related to Helium, I'm running three containers. Uh, and related to Selenium, I'm running one container. And uh, uh, whatever the locators, results, everything is stored in this container. And this container will act as a to run uh, uh, to run the Selenium test cases. Okay, so this is all overall thing which we have done it. So in the next session, the code is sitting in our uh, Docker machine. So now what we will try to do in the next session is run through Jenkins and pull up the code from GitHub and we'll try to run this in this uh, uh, Docker, okay? So that's what we will see in the next session, okay? Uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Bye.